After a harrowing escape from the depths of the goblin lair, our companions find themselves alone in the woods. They are bruised, battered, and missing equipment. They take some time to heal their wounds and come up with a plan for their next move. As the sun rises, so do our heroes, and we begin to drink in Dungeon. A large tree that's fallen over that gives you like a little alcove underneath to sleep under. While you're doing all this, it's just it starts raining and it's pouring down on you guys, which makes it all the more miserable. But that's good. This though. also would help hide your tracks or sounds. But the one thing it doesn't hide is throughout the night, as you guys are trying to rest, is horns throughout the woods in all different directions, as if they're sending messages to each other. All right. A shot to Bergamot's escape. Yeah, buddy. A soggy night. Ooh. Two heroic actions. <laughs> I mean, come on. For a soggy farm. Hmm. Soggy fawn. 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 What did you say? Well, that's right. what the goblins, gerblins are doing. I, I was, yeah, I was fondled and put away wet. Mm. So you guys wake yeah. up in the morning. I'll um, say it again. Uh, now remember, everyone gains back uh, health uh, throughout the night. Um, I, I have such bad memory. Do you so guys? So my healing thing it says that a um, uh, healer can use their abilities to allow other characters gain back double the normal hit points. We didn't right. need to use that though. Yeah, but double what you're. Well, no, you can do that during rest. That way, basically, I think that would mean that all you guys are back up to full. Um, I wish I had good memory, which is, um, it is like 1d6 plus your con bonus, I think, uh, at night that of healing. Sense. Rest. Here we go. An adventure gains back 1d6 hit points plus their con bonus after eight hours of rest. So all you guys roll 1d6 plus your constitution bonus. And then double Six that because of eight is healing. Plus one is seven. Double it is fourteen. We all roll one d six. Then what? One d six. Okay. So five plus your constitution bonus, which yours is zero. So you gain back ten, which just means you're back to full. Okay. And what'd you roll, Anton? Three plus zero. So you roll three. So you end up six plus what you currently had. So you can't go over. So, so can you, we go over our hit point no, or no? no. Okay, so you can't we just ever go. Full. You you just either go up to full or not. Awesome. Um. So what did you go up, go up to, Anton? Um. You said I had one while I was bound right. in the room. So, so then so you plus six, seven. Okay. So seven. Okay. And my max is eight, so I'm basically. So you guys Woo! are pretty good. Go team. All right. So what's so it's morning now? Uh, is it you, raining? <laughs> it is still drizzling. Um, and now it's time for you guys to tell me what you want to do. Um, oh. You've got a fawn in a sack. You guys have <laughs> gathered some things. Um, uh, Zyla, I might be wrong, but I, I swear you grabbed one of the carapace, uh, which is a um, it's a blade like made out of like a beetle shell. She got it. I did it. You did. Here. The insect okay. bag. Or Dagger. Like yeah. Dagger. So you've got that, and you've got a short bow. So you guys do have weapons, but you don't have armor. Um, he can take the bow that I picked up and... So that, that also dagger. means during any combat, your AC would just be 10 plus your dex bonus. Um, so you're not the normal, like, sort of tankier one that you were, but... Right, because actually my uh, I had an armor and shield bonus on my AC. So. so everyone roll a knowledge check for me right now. So roll d d20, add your knowledge bonus to it. Twenty-one for Ada. 21. 18. 18. 15. 15. All right, so you guys all rolled pretty high. So as you guys are thinking about, like, what is happening, uh, last night you guys heard horns all throughout the forest. Mm -hmm. So that means that things are hunting you, but that also means that maybe some of the stuff inside the... Is not inside. Yes. So I, I'm just... 
I'm just having you guys roll that so that way you guys get a feel and it can sort of inform your decision of what you want to do next. Right, some of the stuff that... Some of so the stuff we've been looking for. Everything that okay. was... Yeah, everything that was in the towers and stuff like that are now out looking for us, almost. Oh, I thought... I was mm. gathering that there's um, also other locate. I thought that there was somebody in the tower giving a signal to other locations and that they were no no at, at night you guys they were moving so it wasn't like they're lighting off fires it was like uh sort of like you know coyotes will call to a each other hunt. yeah so they were moving around looking for you guys and blowing horns back and forth and oh you wanted to roll go ahead and roll a d20 on those horn blows to see if you recognize oh yeah i really horn. wanted to just for my own satisfaction to uh be like it's one of those my horn Oh, no, I clearly do not. It's a <laughs> four. <laughs> no. uh, pretty much every other horn, you look at it and you're like, no, that that's that's my horn. And she's no, like, no, no, that it's one. not your horn. You're like, no, I can tell. And I'm okay, doing one we, of these, like... Can we tell if um, it's not your horn. we walk a little bit of a ways of where we've bell. been um, yeah. it? staying? It. Like, can we tell if there are fresh yeah. tracks yeah. anywhere near where we were? Well, um, the bad thing is with the rain... It covered your guys' tracks, but it's also going to make it harder for you guys to see. I mean, everything's so, just like sort of a sopping mess right now. What do now, we do, guys? Including well, we, we know how to get back to the tower. That much is, is yeah. clearly Should evident. Should we just go back to the tower? Or do we, like, go somewhere else? I feel like they would have gone back to the tower. Like, if they couldn't find us at night, they would have gone back to the tower. Um... I will say that dur here during the day, you guys are not hearing the horns being well, yeah, blown throughout I mean, the I'm forest. assuming gerblins would be uh, more active at night, so they're probably less active right now, maybe? I don't know. I feel like we should try to sneak back in the tower. Before we go back in the tower, then, I want to, at the very least, um, just to amuse myself, I want to scatter around in this immediate vicinity, try and find, like, a rickety substitute shield or something because I am awfully exposed. Like, I want to find we'll just some... take the hinges off the doors. We'll just let you carry around a door. Um, so, something, you know, that, like, I can feel like I'm not walking in. I don't want to wait to take a door off while they're shooting at me. I would rather walk in <laughs> prepared is what I'm saying. So, like, if you don't want to, then but just you, head off towards the tower and leave might, me here while I look for stuff. You might right. distract do you, do you or fascinate being naked. Like, so if you, you walk in, you might distract So him. you're telling me I shouldn't? <laughs> he should get, like, you know, pluses to distract and fascinate being naked and all. They were not impressed by is, any of other shenanigans <laughs> so Wait, far. I, I, are you guys, like, describing some home life there, both being distracted and fascinated by the fawn running around naked? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should try to go back upstream. I mean, I don't know. I'm how willing to hard go back to the tower, but I would like be. to find something that I can use as right. defense. Um, like, so I would say you could on on our way back up. I want to keep my eyes out in the trees, whatever. Uh, if I have to roll for it, there there are absolutely no rules for cobbling together armor. Um, I have been on <laughs> enough camping trips. Thinking of an with, oaken shield with with you to know um, <laughs> that uh, if someone has some rope and they're willing to I've lend it to rope. you you could cut up rope uh wood and rope and just bandage together <laughs> and I, I mean i re really mean bandage <laughs> like like tied together with like, threads if you if you walk into town with this People are going to laugh. I've, but I've got silk rope. You can band it together with silk rope. All right. Um, so the the only thing that this will cause is the time doing this. To make it worthwhile for you, you're going to have to spend pretty much most of the day putting this together. But um, give, you give me a knowledge check. Bergamot, just roll a knowledge check on... Uh, because we don't have a crafting skill yet, so we're going to... Am I, I back up to full mana now? Yes, yeah, eight up. hours. You're back up to awesome. full. I, I feel like we shouldn't spend all day 
I mean, right now, I did a check. Uh, I got 11. Um, and like I said, you guys are welcome to be part of this vote. I just don't like the idea of walking All in right. naked. So, Bergamot is pretty sure that if he spends uh, a good six or seven hours strapping this stuff together, he can make a uh, wooden armor that would slow you down by 10 feet per round so you'd be moving at 20 feet instead of 30 feet but you would get uh plus four to your ac that seems pretty all right with me what um what was your current armor 10. Mm. like so i like have half as much armor but you also move at half the speed no i get a plus four so i would i would have 14 armor no, this isn't a decision no, for I'm me. Just, this is a decision I'm, for everybody. I'm just like, like, I I would feel comfortable doing that. If you guys don't want to, then talk me out of it, and we'll just go into the tower. But I sure would feel better having a little more armor points for my AC uh, and a little more uh, protection against arrows and stuff. But if you guys don't want me to, like at this point, I've made my bad decisions. I will follow you guys along if you say you don't want me to take the time and do that. I will respect I just feel like if we wait until well, the evening, we, the goblins are going to be, like, ready for us to, like, re-enter the that tower. That is a very good point. I can't argue that with that. Do we have any idea point. how much time you know, left or, in the day we would have? Or would they be leaving again at night to come searching for you guys? You know, like, some would leave the tower, but then maybe they could run into you guys. Like, there's lots of different factors into play. But if we go upstream, like, are they going to be leaving... Are they going to be going jumping? We in have the river no idea to... what they're going to be doing yeah. because we don't know their behavior well enough. They obviously didn't jump in the river because they could have been right in after us. Like. And how hard would it be for us to swim upstream? Like, is that current That's really, a really strong? Swift current. That's really yeah. swift You guys, strong yeah, you guys upstream. shot out. The chance of you swimming back up. It, like, at the point that out. that furry thing passed through our fingers, like, if let's they be couldn't real. catch me, then we couldn't swim against it. Uh, do what you want. I, I'm just trying to make myself not be another, <clears throat> like, liability. I, what if I, I feel like if we go into this next fight and I don't have anything, I'm just going to die. make armor out of my bedroll? If more, you, quicklier? If, or no. More. No, but uh, if you if you <laughs> gave up your bedroll, he could also cut up your bedroll and add another plus one to that AC, so you'd be at plus five AC. Thank you for mm. that bedroll. I will write that down. <laughs> you weren't she using was, it. She was you slept in a tree branch the only other time you slept. It's true. Okay, well, okay. I'm not giving you my blanket let, and my bedroll. Let's just let him spend the day building whatever he's building. You said about six hours or so? Mm hmm. And then when it starts getting dark, Is let's it? head back into the tower. I mean, uh, I, I will say, I, I am a little, uh, you know inclined to allow this to happen because I want to draw Bergamot in a bedroll slash twig armor set. Like don't that forget is the water so skin. amazing. Yeah. Because you guys don't know. Don't forget the water skin. And the water skin. <laughs> I, no, I don't want to think about the water skin. Because where does the spout go? You know, in the front, in the back? So, either way, it's uncomfortable. I do have but, cow traps and a grappling hook. Could he make like some kind of weird weapon with that? They would be accessories. <laughs> she already has a short bow and a, a oh, yeah. okay. sword for him. Mm -hmm. So, um, no. Oh, uh, I, I mean, yeah. the yeah. sad thing the is, is we're watching the birth of a legacy item because, you know, Bergamot's going to end up wearing this armor all the way to level eight. <laughs> this water skin's going to turn into a thing. Um, okay. Is it a water skin cod piece? All right. No? <laughs> yeah. It's going to, well, because it's I lost piece. my weapon, it's going to turn into a water skin flute. So, um, so Bergamot is, you guys are like watching, uh, it's like a, an eighties montage video. Like, cause you guys are just like sitting back, like eating like rations. Oh, in the meantime, because he's not at full hit points, can I heal him again? Sure. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that, oh, we're spending enough time that you could actually uh, do that. And no, you wouldn't even need to do that. And the amount of time it's taken me to do this, I will regain that one point, right? That's true. No, no, because you have to be resting. So basically, you guys yeah. rested. This is during the day. So we're so you have chilling to rest back. It. I'm going to heal If you guys want to rest another night, you could. Yes. We're chilling back, and, uh, you know, he's going to assemble whatever he's assembling. Yeah, so, like I'm I was saying, heal him. It is, you Sorry. heal him. 
totally 80s montage where you guys are just sitting back eat, eating your elven rations and he's like mm, running through the woods mine. like doing punches <laughs> like you know strapping branches yeah. on but he's like, singing you know. about it yeah singing like, about it right at some point i'm tightening a knot with my teeth somehow yeah like, just like you know pulling at you it you accidentally tie one of your dreads into it that wasn't an accident <laughs> um so uh, as all that goes on, um, he finally comes back and he's like, guys, I have my armor. And I mean, there's twigs, and there's bedroll pieces, there's water skin sticking out, place you don't even want to think of. Silk. Can he have twigs that have been like sharpened to a point like Mad Max style? And yeah. Just, like, out, like, yeah. <laughs> sure. Probably. Oh, yeah. Sticking that, out in all what's directions. That, what's that tree um, that uh, that you guys have with all the crazy thorns? Oh, oh the, the honey, honey locust. locust. Mm -hmm. Something yeah. like that. Like, like, honey like I've just got like a... Tree. Wait, didn't we have some kind of weird black poison didn't you have some kind of black poison that you got from the goblins in the tower like that were the tips of their arrows or something oh I mean, you wouldn't no. have it anyway so all right um so uh but now it's starting to get uh dark again all right um, let's go in and you guys start hearing the horns in the forest so do you want to rest another night because you spent a mana healing him right no this was just my healing um Talent. Oh no, that's only during. That's oh, only during. That's right. Okay. You don't have to heal it. So like, I guess it was I only did. one point. You might as well save that one. Okay. Well then. I'll take my. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll go back down to seven, um, and I have one other idea, uh, and this is an attack idea. Uh, what if we targeted individual horn players out in the woods to not go into the tower and fight everyone at once? What if we like picked off one guy at a time and listened to their horns and followed each one? And just took them out in the woods. There's three of us. There's only gonna. There's not gonna be more than yeah, two or three guys per search party. As soon as that. somebody stops calling back, though, they're gonna know. We'll have a missing. horn. We call back. We can. We've been hearing the horns. We already know their their call sounds. Can you play gremlin horns? I can play any horn, maybe. <laughs> he can toot any horn. Did you do hear you, that? Do you think I can't toot any horn? Do you see what I just made out of the crap the in these horns? woods? <laughs> <laughs> all right, whatever. I'm, okay. At okay. this point, I'm just gonna it's let them idea. do what they want, and it I'm just an gonna idea. be healing them here and there. That's no fun. Um. Hey, you know what? We we had really bad luck inside the tower, so maybe we could try our luck. Let's drive out, out, out of the tower. No. They're already out. We can hear multiple horns. How many horns can we hear? I can't even hear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's hard to keep up, but there's at least three. Okay, because that's how many I rolled. Three. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I've, I've pitched out my ideas, but um, you guys have been great to me. Let me build some, some fun <laughs> armor, so I'm good with whatever we are talking about at this Do point. Do they sound close-ish? I mean... How close? I mean, I you know, it's hard to tell when it's dark and there's like, it's echoing through the woods. Um, but I would, I would say that if you guys stayed out the night in the woods, there's probably a good chance that you'd run into one of them. Um, but if you went inside the tower, so I think, I think we need to go to a vote. Uh, who wants to stay out and fight the things in the woods? Woods, baby. I just want to start Aww. killing things. Like I don't you say, act like that's not a way to kill. Woods. Fine, I'm woods? going. With, I'll go with, into the let's woods, the guys. Woods. Into the woods. We're already in the woods. We've already been. <laughs> that was more than one episode ago. All right. Um, so, so how do you guys go about? Do you, are you tracking them or are you trying to set up a trap for them? Like, how do you? Do you track. want to get? You want to try to track them? I'm not sp smart enough, or I'm not like. Why, Set us up. Why would we be setting traps? You know. Uh. Because then, then we're just gonna sit in that one spot waiting for them to come in instead of going to them. We might figure out where they're going, what sort of things. Hey, are in what the if area. we? What if we made a whole lot of noise, and then ran to another part so we know exactly. 
where they're at when they come and investigate. Well, how the about really you? Loud noise we just made. You do the running <laughs> and the loud noises. Or I could I could go to like a, a place that's like thirty feet away or something and make a whole lot of noise. And then we and go then, like and forty then I come feet back. the other direction. And yeah. Then go. Yeah. yeah. I think so if we could get a gauge can... as to how many people there are per party, so if there was a way that we could visualize a party, whether or not we make a noise so that we draw them to us without them seeing us, but if we can gauge how many people there are in a party, then we would know, attack this party or don't attack this party. And then we would also know, hey, we can grab a horn from them and then summon other guys over or make our next move from there. But I like your idea of finding a way to where to we them. have the advantage over them. Yeah. Um, but I'm not trying to like spend all night hunting them. I'm not gonna like you know go camo. Well, and yeah, all that. we want to make them come to us. So I feel like okay, I'm gonna go out like 30 feet from where we're at currently at, and I am just gonna start yelling because. But what's our plan? They're not like, gonna... Do we have something we're doubling around? Or are we, <clears throat> or are we just... Like, I mean, they don't know where we're at right now, so if I just kind of run back to where we are... I don't know. Final question. Do you think... <laughs> but they could come uh, up from the back. Do you I think, just love that. Could we use the creek as a trap? Like, if we could somehow get them to stumble oh, into oh, the creek oh, oh, and get oh, swept wait. away. Okay, what if we... Okay, what if so we... So are you guys what, still wait. near the creek? Hold on, wait. Wait, what, if, so. we find, wait, before, what if we find a tree? Let me, let me know where you guys are. Are you guys near the creek or are you not near the creek? I think we're near the creek, but I don't know that we really... All right, and... Uh, We've very been much chilling out creek. with our feet on the banks while he was building stuff, so... Was it? Okay. Yeah. I don't know. We're I by the creek. that we found it. Uh, All right, well then, we're going to say, if you guys are on the creek, the first place they're going to check for you guys is along I'm the creek. I'm only saying that, no, because I'm looking at our picture. I thought I just oh. thought that we were next to the creek. Well, that's like, well, no, I mean, I asked all of you, and they said on the bank. So, I mean, it's fine. Uh, it, it just, you guys roll an awareness, and they're going to roll well, an no, awareness. I was going to say see. we should get up into a tree, and I would go make a loud noise, and then when they come, like... Right, but I'm trying to figure out where you guys are right rolls 18. Now. 18? What do I need to do? Five. Roll Rolling. awareness check. Okay. Uh, nine. Uh, negative one. Nine. Alright, so you guys aren't right you have on... have a negative awareness? Oh, yes. You guys are uh, not right on the creek, but you're nearby. And uh, you guys actually see a goblin riding on the back of a spider uh, <gasps> that's going down along the creek. And uh, he's looking back and forth, but he does not see you guys. So this is before you can yell or set your traps, but since you're near the, the creek, this is what you see. So Can um, I see him? You guys can see him, and I'll, I will... Can I see if he has a horn? Um, Not my horn, I just what, want to see what if he has... just roll on the awareness? 13 uh, plus 4, 17. He does have a, uh, a bone horn hanging at his hip. Uh, the only All reason right. I'm checking is he could sound the alarm if we attack unprepared. Yeah. So, all right. So, just letting you guys know, the setup is uh, he he knows that that or he doesn't know that you're there, but you guys know he's there. What do you guys want to do? Set the scene for me. I mean, and this is not like you guys haven't had time to plan. You guys were debating well, all day. Well, seeing as the only person who could get to him from like a distance would be the one who can't really shoot arrows. So. so well, I mean, you I you had a bow arrows. too that. I mean, you can shoot your magic. Well, uh, I gave him the Bergamot has the bow. You, you guys do magic. have range. You can shoot wild magic at him. And I mean, I, I am, I'm willing to attempt to try to take him out. And, and just so you guys know, uh, without his awareness, he is flat-footed and you would get your sneak attack. So, uh, you guys would all get Let's one attack. Can we both you, shoot? Can we all shoot at him? Every one of you guys could do it at once because you're doing it before he's aware. Let's okay, do it, guys. I'm going to do my sneak right. attack on him then. All right, so right. Zyla first. Um, Zyla, what die are you going to roll? That's what everyone's wondering because... <gasps> I'm going to do this gold one. You I never have roll the one that glows. I did up. roll that one. Not this And it didn't... So I didn't roll right. it this session, all right. but I rolled roll it, it we'll see. We'll ago. see how it goes. <laughs> That one's very shiny. It's very fitting. Like it's very Zyla. distractingly. Look at those swift digits. All right. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it looks like. It matters what number comes up when you roll it. It's true. Oh lord. Oh jeez. Oh lord. 
Okay. Oh, oh wait, don't look at it yet. <laughs> Does Bergamot start singing? By the way, after say, after level one, up. after level one, the elder god voice goes away, and you guys have to make your own decisions. I already thought about it. Bergamot no. is not ruining the silence. All right, no. not yet. Okay. What'd you roll? Um. If I started singing, he would hear us. I don't still get that plus one from earlier, right? So uh, fourteen. No. Fourteen. That hits. <laughs> roll damage. Awesome. And you hit the the Gramblin, not the spider, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> because that's the one that the spider can't blow a horn. Um, yep. Yeah. So that's a four. Four points damage. Four damage. All right. So the arrow sticks into his side. Um, you guys decide who goes first. I'm I next. Hit something. Okay. I hit something. Wild magic. Finally. What'd you roll? One. Making me pull up the it's fumble a deck. Oh. All right, roll me a d20. Put me up. Um. <laughs> a seven. Um. I do. I keep mm. going to the right. shiny one, and that's You'll my poke your eye out with all your combat prowess. You hit yourself in the eye. Wait. Roll normal damage, and you're blinded for one d4 rounds. Only in one eye. I mean, it doesn't actually blow out. So eye, roll my damage for wild magic. Yeah, D four. Oops, that was not a roll. Two, and then do I still do the plus one? Yep. So three. So you take three points of damage, and you're blinded for one D four rounds. Ooh. Roll one D four. All right, Bergamot. Uh, roll your attack roll. I am. Uh, quick question. I, I was given a short bow that we found during all of this. So uh, let's say I. Hit. What do I roll for damage? One d six. D six. Thank you. Uh, Wait, I just needed I roll, to make a note. I roll a d four for rounds. Yep. Roll o. Three. All right. Three so you rounds. just use that d four as a countdown. All right. What'd you roll, Anton? I mean, burn uh, him I didn't roll yet. Yeah. Four. <sighs> five. No. Uh, you, you miss. Um, you guys are amazing at rolling, I just have to say. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, uh, your arrow flies, uh, over him, and, uh, and then it's gonna go into, uh, normal round, and we're gonna roll initiative. <laughs> yeah, alright, I'll have, like, a little bitty one so that I can drink on my yeah. turn, I, I think we... Oh! Whoa, oh, whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. Oh, yeah. Alcohol yeah. abuse. Okay. All right. So, um, so on on your turn, right? Yeah. That's. Or did probably you first because I rolled a freaking twenty. You should. Yeah. You should definitely get a shot for rolling a twenty, and you should do a shot on your turn. I think I'm. Wait. Just didn't record him. What did you roll, Ada? I'm sorry. Ada was seventeen. Seventeen. Sorry. The shot must have messed everything up. Um. Wait, did the computer get a shot? Uh, the the guy who's running the computer. Zyla, what did you roll? <laughs> a twenty. A twenty. So twenty. No, twenty twenty. Bergamot, what'd you roll? Ten. Ten. Man. Yeah, I think. Are you seeing cross-eyed? I think I'm. It fires an arrow at Bergamot. Let's see how that armor works. What was your AC now with the new stuff? It was plus five. Fifteen. So he rolled a four. Oh yeah, he hits you. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, the the arrow just busts right through your armor and shatters it and does six points of damage. Was there like a, a knock uh, in the wood six right there? freaking points? I'm right here. God. All right, Bergamot, it is your turn. What is happening to us this round? You act like I did that. This whole Don't yell at me. session, we are on the verge You should have found poplar wood. <laughs> We did a wood check, remember? All right, Bergamot. What oh, are you I doing? didn't take my shot. <laughs> do, you, do you need your shot? Yes, yes. do it. Because you're blind. All right, go for it. Oh, and I made it taste like whatever you like. 
tastes like warm butter. Oh, All right, bergamot. Hot butter. Bergamot, what do you do? Oh, you just got um, shot for, so you have what? One, one hit point? One. one hit point. Yeah, no, I'm ready for my shot. I am going all in. I am singing to give them uh, courage. I am What's inspiring one? courage. It's about time. Now you want to sing? I can only do it on my turn. Yeah, but we were so much better than you and we were so much quicker. Like. Well, maybe you should have thrown a dollar my way so I would have sung at you a little sooner. Dang. God. Um, Weird. Dollar make you holler. Let's not get divided, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying. I've been waiting for my job. turn that I can actually do something, and sing I finally feel like sing me a song. I'm trying to. I'm singing, and I am uh, shooting my crossbow at that goblin, Gramblin, Grambobblin, Moblin, right. Gramblin. <laughs> what? All right, I'm sticking with the one die. Just a two okay. And I missed. All right. <laughs> I mean, bolt goes off in the distance. How many bolts have you lost? Uh, no, it's an arrow. Uh, oh yeah, because it's Oh yeah, you're not shooting arrows. No, I'm shooting Zyla, arrows, not it's bolts. it's your turn. Uh, and like a, 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 a four would not have hit, right? No. Yeah. I am so pissed at this point. And there's my shot. I really just kind of want to like run up and like just kind of like... Alright, <laughs> that, totally that sounds wonderful, but... It is on the back of another know, spider. Do you want to do that? I really do want to, but I don't know. It's not a good idea. You had a good. I shot like. I, I like a bad. I see it in my head, and then I'm like, oh, bad idea. Bad we just idea. need to stick with this. Like, look, we All already right. took him down. Like, he's hurt. We have to kill him quick before the others get here. Yeah, I'm, just... I'm gonna. I'm gonna get him with the uh, with my short bow again, and I'm gonna roll this one. Ooh, right. the, big, that the big die. The big die. Keeps telling me to roll. I'm excited. So here goes. And uh, you have 13. plus one from me. Plus so one from me. So 14. Two. So is that, it's 14, so it's... It's 11. 13. Plus 13, one, plus 14. one. That hits. Roll damage. Yes! Yeah, all right. Way to inspire courage. Right. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Uh, <laughs> the arrow catches it in the stomach. And it slowly draws its bow back, and then it just slides off the spider and falls to the ground dead. Yes! Can we, like, tame the spider and ride it off? All right, the quick thought. Um, the, the spider can't, if we ran right now, the spider can't communicate with the goblins that we know. We could run, and whoever's coming to aid this guy won't find us. I said it within six, six seconds. That was a record. It's true. It's right. true. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Uh, okay. Run. So, so you, you can run, but it's still within combat, just so you know. Uh, so Ada, it's we your can turn. Shoot what do you want to do? Shoot and run. I'm going to shoot wild magic at the, um, well, vaguely at the spider's direction. Okay, of so course. let's be ready to run and, I mean, before the next goblin I gets I still here. know where the creek is, right? Like, if I'm yeah, facing nearby. the same direction, sure. if I run the other way... I'm not running, I'm just gonna stand there. No, we just wanna run right. before the next goblin gets here. It's your turn, okay. tell me what to do. I'm gonna shoot wild magic at right. the um the uh spider. Spider. And I can't use a spell and act, right? Like right. okay. I'm gonna ask Make that it like every time. Might be able to. No. no. Alright, your wild magic or shoots and burns a hole in a piece of wood. Me. It was pretty though. It was like peacock sparkles everywhere. And then, and then you uh, everywhere. I mean, yeah, I mean I do you want to leave I'm the I'm gonna literally be running. Dive into the creek and let's nowhere. just go. I can't see. You can hear it. We can. But well, the, the creek, creek is gonna be the first the place at. they're looking. I'm standing for us. right there. Right? I'm standing right there. It takes right us away there. then. All right. Yeah. Ada said she's not moving. Okay. So the spider runs up, and in Zyla's worst nightmares, the spider looms up above her and bites yeah. down towards her. On Zyla. Yep. So. Can you move? Uh, 12 um, plus 2 is 14. What's your no, AC? 15. It misses. Uh, it misses. It misses. Yes. <laughs> can we move the spider to where we can see it? Um, this this map is not active. We've moved off map, so uh, we're just... Uh, okay. I saw the goblin, playing. so I wasn't... Yeah, I, I tried to get it to work right. Um, I guess, yeah, we'll just pretend it's the goblin there. There you go. So it, it runs down and bites it at Xyla and misses. So next up... 
is Bergamot. So you're sort of behind the spider. Uh, which I flanked it. Which would mean that it's flanked, yes. I have an insect, insect, insect dagger. I've never right. used it before. Um, I feel like... I didn't write down. Like, so that means oh, it loses wait, 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 D4. 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 Yeah, I wrote it down. Um, so, um, and, and like, I, it's, it's like very out of, uh, Bergamot's, uh, normal, uh, sort of repertoire. But he's sort of like toying with this idea about like something with spider webs, you know, leave a message and I'll fight you back. But he's like working on it. It's like it's not completed. But he's thinking like No doubt. No doubt right. he is thinking about it and he will refine it. Alright. And he stabs in a very Xyla like motion, he stabs at the butt end of the spider with the insect dagger. I think it's a, uh, seven. And you, you're singing your heart out. There, there's some weird emotions about, like, ex-lovers, and you just totally miss as you swing. Uh, next up is It's an emotional song. It is. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... Then again, you're just a fawn. I guess we've all decided that we're not running, huh? Is that I what's can't happening? see. We're not running? They're not Somebody run tell me where to run because I can't see. Like You could have said that and then we would have like picked you up and pushed you in you the You probably saw me shoot magic at my own face. I saw her shoot herself in the foot. Did you I just feel like if we stick around here long enough, they are going to come I where agree we're at. with that. Like, okay, well. I mean, once again, only a couple seconds. I mean, you guys have gone through three rounds, so that's only yeah. 24 seconds. So it's All not right, like so I'm going to I'm going to shoot at yeah. this. I'm going to shoot at this. Guy. All right. Do, do you have any? Uh, well, no. Range? I mean, he. You know, do you want to shoot or do you want to close range? Him? Close range. Um, I do the same damage, but my short bow is more likely to hit with my attack bow. Oh, then do okay. that. Whatever yeah. you want. No. <laughs> nope. Nine. All right. Uh, and then we run. Now we run? Now we, we run. run. I'm okay with running. It was my idea. This has been the theme of this session. Run away! It doesn't have to be, like, ridiculous. We can be, like... Um, so, uh, just I'm before like, you run I'm off, be just so you know, um, it is flanked, so you do have the ability to do a sneak attack on it. I'm behind it? No, it's not, I'm but not it, it's it. flanked. Yeah. It's flanked, okay. so you can still do... But um, so you want to run? Attacks? Huh? Any of our attacks are sneak attacks? No, 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 just the rogue. Oh, just the rogue. Okay. So, okay. but but Zyla, you said you you want to run? Well, if they're not running, then if they don't agree that we should run. All right, then... Ada, you're up next. I'm gonna shoot. Um, shoot the uh, wild magic at it. All right. And you got one more round. Mm -hmm. So this is my last round, fine. Okay. Two. Two? <laughs> Three. You are just like, just firing off in all directions. There's like, a spider! There's a spider! Yeah. Uh, if, if the horn wasn't enough, the like little fireworks show that blind Ada is firing off. Oh, oh. Um, oh. And so now oh. it rough. bites down on Xyla again, bringing home her worst nightmares. 16 plus 2 is 18. Mm. That's enough to hit. Yeah. And it does five points oh, of damage. Oh, are you kidding me? Plus. My third brush with death. <laughs> <laughs> this. Oh my god. Bring you down to zero? Yes. All right. God. And also, uh, roll a fort save, too. Give me a d20 roll plus Guys, your fort bonus. Guys, seriously. Oh my gosh. What? What are we doing wrong? We suck. Okay, but you're saying that like we're doing two. something wrong. We said. Two? Okay, two. but what's the lesson to be learned? All right. Uh, as you go down from the bite, you also puke a little bit. <laughs> you feel oh. sick inside. Bergamot, yes. it is your turn. I freaking died almost three times. Um, even though uh, I'm at close range, I'm actually going to double back to the uh, short bow because it has more damage capability. So I feel like that's... 
Um, yeah, I mean, if we're still standing here fighting, then I'll just keep fighting. Fourteen. That hits. All right. Two. Woo! Alright, so you fire an arrow and it sticks into its abdomen. And you hurt it, but it doesn't seem like it hurt it much. Yep. Xyla, you are down to zero. Mm -hmm. Alright, give me one of those uh, saves. Ten. You lose a hit point. You're at negative one. Ada, it is your turn. I'm. I can see. You can see. You see Xyla's face down underneath the spider. Uh, Bergamot is in wooden armor, firing from behind with a bow. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, I'm and, going. Uh, Xyla is adjacent to you. Just so you know. I'm going to heal Xyla. All right. Roll one d eight. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you have a thing that can heal both of us? No, I don't. Don't you have a thing that can heal two people at once? No, that's no. like, like, um, one point. Oh, okay, never mind. Six. Nice. Um, plus one, so seven. Seven, all right. So that's like back to points. Point. So, uh, Boom. Xyla pops Ooh. back up. Hey. No. Welcome no back. consequences. No consequences. <laughs> Am I got uh, like, away? That one goes like, out to Mark. No consequences. Can I like step back a little bit? Yeah, you can or, move still. Can I like move kind of behind the spider or no? Sure. Like over this way? Wait, I, uh, are you doing, am I uh, in front of the spider? Oh, yeah, you, you want to move out I just of oh, the yeah. spell? I can't do um, What's that? Am I in front of the spider? You are. You're and it's about to attack you again. But wait, it's still flanked, so she gets a uh, sneak bonus? If When she's attacking, but it's, oh, it's about a to attack turn. her. Um, and it rolls and it a uh, 10 plus 2 is 12. And it, Not enough. <laughs> and it misses. <laughs> All right, Bergamot, it's your turn. All right, one more time with the uh, short bow, because I'm Shoot getting sort, up of, the spidey hole. sort of tired of this. I'm yes. Please pull Xyla. I'm aiming for his silk blade. Get that butt. Just the get it. No. Get he that. said the spidey hole. <laughs> the spite anus. Oh. I love making you groan. That's like ten times just this session. Hey guys, phrasing. Come on. Six. Six? No, you're not hitting. Oh wait, seven. Still. <laughs> and a seven. Wrong hole. Uh, you you shoot it and it just hits like an ant hill, like underneath the the spider. And you're like, what his I, spidey sense is tingling. What am I even doing, Xyla, It is your turn. All right, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? The big Shiny! one. The big one. Big one. Journey. <laughs> oh my god. Let's roll, roll one. And see which ah. one. Just roll one. Duh. Okay, I hit. Okay. That's good. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Keep it. Now let's do a d6. Roll before. And you get plus one. I still get plus one. I get plus one for attacking and plus one for damage. Mm -hmm. All right. Because of my, three my courage. Of damage. Three damage and it's a sneak attack. It's, it's flanked right now. Okay. So what is so that? So another d6. So Hercules! Okay. Hercules! One. <laughs> one. <laughs> so that was... Sneak attack I... does... Um, 1d6. Okay, so you do the first one was 3? Yeah. So you do 4 points of damage. Uh, you stab it in one of its many, many eyes. Mm. This feels very familiar. <laughs> the mandibles open up in front of you. Alright, yeah. Ada, it's your turn. Um, I guess I can still um, shoot wild magic at it. And I still have some space to back up and still be in range, right? Yeah. So I'm going to back up. Why are you backing up more? Because I'm getting away. I'll come back if you guys need me, but you should be backing out. Anyways, I'm going to be shooting wild magic at it. So... 
um, 11 <coughs> plus, so 12. That hits. Awesome. So, two plus one plus one, so four. All right. Um, your your blast uh, hits it in one of its legs, and its leg sort of like kinks down, mm. uh, and is not looking to be in too good a shape. Did, you, um, did I just hear you feel sorry for this? Spider. Yeah, I she really, totally did. She was like, oh. I really like bugs, okay? Yeah. So right. it's kind of sad. Yeah, but she like, doesn't like bugs. I can, like, shoot bugs. It bites off down at Zyla. Day. Yeah, and, and now it's biting at Zyla. 16. What's your AC? 15. 15? And it hits. And it does 5 points of damage. Are you kidding me? Plus, roll a fortitude save, please. Oh my gosh. I just freaking healed you. You should have ran. 15. You said you didn't want to run. 15? Yeah, but she, like, I'm already backing right, out. Uh, you Obviously. have to communicate with Do not with feel uh, run. sick. Run. All right, Bergamot, it is your turn. Run. Okay. Oh, wait, no, the spider, actually, it bit, and then it ran uh, 30 feet away. Uh, Bergamot, what do you do? Uh... I was prepared to ask everybody, have we changed our minds about whether we're running or not? But uh, at this point, um, I can still shoot and. You can still shoot and I don't, know the, shoot range, and I don't hit know the range of my shortbow. What's a shortbow range? 60 foot. Yeah, you okay. definitely can hit it. Um, I mean, I might as well volley off something towards it, but uh, my real question in my six seconds is okay, uh, hey gang, are we running or staying? Um, I think we should get out of here. I mean, it's running away from you guys right now. I think we should get out of here, too. Alright, I'm gonna fire and then run. Seven. That's our cue. That misses. Alright. To run. So, Bergamot starts running away. Xyla? <sighs> uh, which way are we running? Um, you can shoot your short bow at it. I'm gonna shoot my short bow at it. Alright. I'm gonna use the big one again. I didn't run though. Duh! I missed! Alright, you miss. Running! Right. We're running! Ada, but, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you, you guys are running in the opposite direction of it. Okay, yeah. I, um, oh, you've got Well, it. I'm not moving. You got, once yeah, again, just theater was, of the mind. It doesn't matter. This map doesn't, it's not big enough. So just. Okay. You guys are running away from the spider or towards the spider? Away from away, the Away, okay. away. Alright, so Ada. Oh, uh, can we grab that horn before we run away? Can somebody grab that horn from the dead goblin? The goblin's in, in the different direction. No, he was right here. No, in this no. square. No, he, he was, was right there. Down. No, yeah, that was where the spider. The goblin riding the spider died in one of these two squares. We literally were right next to that. No, it was lower down. If you guys want to stop and loot, that cha takes us out of combat and... Co no, I didn't. Alright, so uh, mid-combat. Uh, Bergamot is, is thinking about coming back to the horn, um, but Zyla already went. So you already took off running a little bit, so then we can decide what you do after that. Um, Ada, what do you do? There's no reason the, for me to... The spider's running away. You're the only one left in range. I can still hit it? Yes, with wild magic. Okay. I'm going to go for wild magic right at the spider. Rolls a 13 plus... That's that uh, fourteen. Uh, Four plus one, five, uh, six. Plus him. Six. Yeah, one right. um, Your wild magic hits it on its backside as it runs away and explodes. Ah. Its, its spider hole just opens up and webbing oh. goes everywhere, uh, and it hits the ground. Why didn't and, that happen in the beginning? Um, like so. Uh, as I like to do, I'm going to paint the picture. Xyla and Bergamot are running away, and you're like, and it blows up. And Bergamot's like, hey, we should grab the horn. And it's dead, and I'm, uh, okay, well, whatever, baby. I'm just going to get that horn. There's always more horns, baby. <laughs> it's not your horn, though, so. I'm sorry. <laughs> too soon? Did you say that? Like, too is that soon? what you said? Yes, Bergamot? I did. All right, please say, it, please say it as Ada. I did. No, like, say it like, there's always more horns. I mean, there's always more horns, right? 
Okay. Or is it too soon? No, you didn't yell it though. Like I didn't feel like Ada <laughs> said that. <laughs> as, as the audience watches a, 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 a growing relationship between Bergamot and Ada. <laughs> Or a growing distance. It's almost like you guys are all already married or something. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I got enough of that horn. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, Spider's dead. Ada's had enough of that horn. And that's where we will call it a night. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Here's to almost so. dying like three times. For over you. And and over and over and over. Yeah. Ah, uh, naked bergamot. You guys are killing me. <laughs> Get a t-shirt already.